All right, welcome everybody, Salute World. This is Master Myself tuning in, aka Jordan Amari. I am your host for this episode of the Self Code Podcast. I'd like to welcome everybody tuning in live and online. If this is your first time uh, coming on uh, the Self Code, I would like to welcome you. <clears throat> um, in this episode of the, well, I encourage you to download this episode and check out our collective. Our collective features all kinds of uh, different folks. So we got uh, Sultan here who's uh, from IMC Nation. Um, I have the pleasure of in interviewing him and getting to know him on a whole nother level, man. So I'm so excited for this. Uh, my intention for this episode, brother, is just to, to show the world exactly who you are and how knowing you is going to better them in their lives. Uh, so the, the self-code, real briefly, is a, a genetic sequence excuse me, uh, that resides on the inside of us and allows for us to analyze ourselves from the inside out. We want to know what makes you, in particular, so uh, unique, and how you inspire others around around you, and how you perceive yourself. Um, I personally believe that knowledge of self is the knowledge of wealth. So, without further ado, brother, it's a pleasure to have you uh, here. Please tell us how, how are you feeling today, man? And first off, I just want to say, fuck, man, thanks for having me on. Hell yeah, you're a, you're a legend, man. Um, I know we've we've met. I think two or three times um, in yeah. person, but and every single time I link up with you, it's like it's like I've known you for like since my childhood, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. I've you know, you, you, yeah, and there's very few people that uh, that I can say that about. Mm. And you know, ever since I was man, ever since I was probably okay, since I can remember, since I was maybe like eleven or twelve. Yeah. I always had like this, I guess you could say like intuition of knowing if someone is a good person or not, mm -hmm. like almost immediately after like one, once I meet them, that's how I knew, um, so I knew AZD, you know, that's how I knew like, like AZD is a good person. Like yeah. he's more than a good person, but I have like this, this, uh, this measurement inside that I can just like see someone like that. That's, that's mm -hmm. a good person. Like immediately right away. And wow. when I, when I first met you, I believe it was, Earlier this year, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, J yeah, January? In, in May, actually, in May. Uh, that was the first time I went to San Jose and met everybody. So I met AZD in person, uh, Yogi Chris, Fernando, and you. And oh, and Raul, Raul Solorio. Yeah, so, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, all really good dudes. And yes, sir. I, I man, yeah, when I, when I first met you, I was like, this guy's this is a solid, solid person, you know? Um, someone that I can actually call. I mean, I know you don't live around here, but someone that I can call on if you were to be around me, to help me out with anything. So um, I think I lost track of what you're asking me. <laughs> you're asking me. Uh, no, just asking how you feeling, brother. That's it, man. They, oh, you're, I'm feeling today, man. Yeah. It's it's been a it's been it's been a it's been a fucking incredible day. Yeah. Lots of ups and downs, of course. I mean, you know, I think the person that says I've had a great day, you know, all day, you know, all day's been perfect. I think they're fucking lying. Yeah. Um, I've really been implementing Memento Mori, mm. right? And uh, some people that probably don't know, that's a, uh, it's like a, it's a stoic philosophy, yep. which means remember you die, mm. right? And there's been so many times in these past few days that man, I don't want to do anything. Like, I don't want to fucking get up. Like, you know, we've been waking up fuck since quarantine started we've been quarantining ourselves yes sir and i've been waking up since or between four and four thirty I, I lost track of days i stopped counting after like yeah. 10, 60 days because yeah, it's true. not about counting the days for me now it's just right. it's really just a lifestyle man it feels so fucking good 100%. to really just stay consistent with something you know in the past i would i would just i would like for example going to the gym i would fucking go to the gym and then I would just go like there was it was just like going to the gym, you know, I was mm. going through the motions of going to the gym. Yeah. And even like looking at the gym now, it's so it's so like mundane to go to the fucking gym. Like yeah. we were just talking about this, I think, last night and <laughs> just like thinking of the gym, like you go to the gym, you fucking get on a machine and like do whatever bench press and then you get on the next machine, you do the bench press and then you on this next machine and there's this guy sitting there chewing gum on his fucking phone and you're waiting for him and like asking right. him what he's done. It's like, what the fuck is Man, this I, shit? I haven't been to the gym in fucking forever, bro. Like, like you saying that right now, just, it brings back memories, but it's like, you know, kind of what's the point? I get what you're saying. So yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. hundred percent. 
That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> and you and then you have like those guys that are like, uh, 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 they're like fucking screaming and shit. Like, dude, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Get the right. fuck get out of here, bro. What the fuck is this, man? I came here to like, fucking, you know, get a workout in, like have some peace. But this guy's exactly. like over here fucking screaming and shit. It's like, bro, yeah. like I'm getting fucking swole, bro. I'm getting swole. You look like a fucking clown. Look yeah. Like a fucking retard. Anyway, that's um, <laughs> back back to this 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 lifestyle of waking up early you know spending fuck is we spend like from at least for myself personally i know everyone has maybe like a different you know some people have work early in the morning yeah. but for me i wake up between 4 and 4 30 and then from from the wake up to about 10 or 11 i'm just working on myself mm. wow and what, what does that mean i mean it's different every day yeah um a lot of days i'll i'll literally just wake up right here and i'll just read uh I'll read meditations by Marcus Aurelius or I'll, I'll journal yeah. or I'll go through and I'll read journal entries from, you know, weeks prior mm. and just see, you know, what was, see what I was writing yeah. or read what I was writing during that time. And then yeah. kind of comparing it to what I'm writing now yes, sir. or even just watching like a, like a YouTube video, like fuck, anything, anything inspiring. You know, I don't want to right. sit and watch like, you know, some people like to Netflix and chill or whatever the fuck that shit is. Yeah, right. Some people like to watch Netflix. Fuck Netflix, you know, fuck Netflix. Yeah, but right people up. like to just watch yeah. YouTube and say it again? No, I say, yeah, straight up, right? Especially right yeah. now. It's yeah, pedo, Netflix, pedo especially right. is what we call it. You know what I'm saying? Pedo, it ain't Netflix. Pedo no Flix, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is Pedo Flix. Um, if anyone's watching, just fucking cancel, cancel your uh, Netflix membership. Mm. But, yeah, this this idea of... I lost my train of thought, but this idea of of working on yourself from from like four to let's say eleven eleven a.m. Yeah, man, I don't know what I've been doing these past years. These past few years, I don't know what yeah. I've been doing. I don't know yeah, what the hell I was doing, you know. Man, like, and then you have people who are like, "Well, like, I wake up like at seven and I read like I read like like self help books and shit." Like, I have some of those fucking books here too, and I just like they don't do anything, you know, they don't right. do anything. They're all the same. They all say the same shit. And at some point it's just like, what the fuck? Like, why am I reading all this shit? Like really, why am I really reading all this shit? Is it really going to take like 30 books for me to fucking finally wake up and just realize mm. that I'm fucking wasting my time waking up mm. and then watching Netflix or watching fucking YouTube. I mean, watching YouTube is cool. Just depends what you're watching, right? What type of information you're taking in. 100%. Yeah. And now like, I don't watch anything besides something that is really going to move me mm. like, like emotionally. Like I want to feel yeah. really good or like inspired when I watch it or it's something that's educational. Mm. Well, bro, you're gay. You don't, you should, you should watch educational stuff, bro. You're, you're gay. <laughs> no, that's, that's you. Bro. That's, that's, that's everything. Yeah. You know, uh, it's all about, you know, I'm, I'm a huge believer in, in, in energy and where you put your attention to is what you're going to get back. So, you know, like you sure, were saying, sure, sure. You spend all that time in yourself, investing yourself, whatever it is that you're researching or whatever it is that you're pulling from is very, very powerful, man. And that's, uh, that's huge, bro. I, I got questions for you, man, before you, uh, before you tell us your whole, your whole life story, man. Uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, what's, Hell what's it like being Sultan? Because Sultan, the direct translation of Sultan is, is king. Am I mistaken? Please, please correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe the direct translation of that is, is king. Um, what, what is it like being a, a king, brother? Yeah, and, and you're right. The definition is a king. Mm. What is it like to be a king? That's a that's a really good question. Right now, man. Right now, it's it's like I'm trying to find the words because I have the feeling of it. Yeah. What's it like to be a king? It's to not let any external noise or any any anything external affect the internal mm. you know yeah and there's times where it will it will like there's times where it's some, something like something like really just cuts right through mm. and i have to put it in check like immediately if that makes sense does that, does that make sense that, that might be kind of vague kind of, kind of sort of yeah. can, you, can you explain that more yeah let's see okay um let's see let's say i post something or i say something on social media or I'm out 
and I get attacked for it, which has happened like so many times. Yeah. How like people make fake Instagram accounts. Yes, sir. Shit, like all these all these fanboys. And in the past, you know, I, I wouldn't get like upset, like I wouldn't like fucking start punching the air, but I would it would affect me, of course, you know, as it would affect most people. Yeah. Because it's like, what the fuck? Why this this person's hating on me for what? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Because if I did something wrong, that person should post the proof of me doing something wrong. But they have mm -hmm. no proof. Right, right, right. Sure. My ethics are are in order. I'm so clean mm -hmm. that you can't you can't do anything to affect me. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can do is come and hurt me. That's the only thing you can do. Mm -hmm. So let's say I get like, you know, somebody sends me a message and uh, like it's happened, people send me long messages like you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. And in the past it would it would move me on the inside. I'd be like, fuck, like like for like hours and hours, I'd just be in my head like, yeah. did you really do something wrong? Like, why is this person like reaching out? Why did they say that? Why, like, ah, oh, man, should I respond? What should I say back? Fuck that, man. Mm. Fuck all that shit. That's yeah. all just internal bullshit dialogue. Dude, a king doesn't fucking sit there and listen to his internal dialogue. Well, you shouldn't do that, man. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't yes, do sir. that, man. No, oh, well, come on, man. Should I have said that? Mm. I'm gonna have to call so-and-so today. I'll call him in 10 minutes. You're like going to fucking sleep. I gotta call so-and-so. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Man. So what so what does a king say in the, in that respect? If that's not what he says, what does yeah. the king say in that in that moment where you're deflecting the, the external and you're relying on the internal? What 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 does the king say in that moment? It's a really good question. Nothing. Mm. I don't say anything. I just stop. I just stop. No, that's like the word to me. Yeah. No. No. I don't wanna I don't want to chat with this thing in my head, you know? Mm. Because you can see it. It's or I, I can hear it at least. I can't, I can't actually see the voice. It's, I explained this the other day. It was like, when it's, when it's like really like, just, there's a lot of noise. It, mm. uh, it's like two samurais fighting, mm. right? And they're, 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 um, they're dueling. And then, you know, each one gets a cut in, like he slices the other guy's arm, the other guy slices his rib and they don't die. They just, they just fight. And then there's a draw, right? And then they step back, right? And then a couple hours they go in again and they start slicing each other and they start like dodging hits and then it's a draw. Yeah. It's like, dude, none of these guys die, bro. Why? Kill, kill this guy, bro. Kill him, kill him. You know? Yeah. So, so yeah. it's just like a never ending thing. Yeah. And I'm recognizing that I'm just watching this. It's not me. Mm. I, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. You know, I'm not mm. visual like in front of me, but I'm seeing it here. If I close yeah. my eyes, I can see it happening. It's the vision that I'm getting. And it's just too, it's just chatter. It's two mm. two voices talking, and then I'm 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 hearing it. Yeah. It's not me. So that's why do I respond? There's no reason for me to respond to that. Yeah. Well, that's e that's you're making it sound easy. It, it's not easy. What the hell? Mm. I'm still I'm still working on it. You know. Yeah. But yeah. every day and every way, I'm just I'm getting better and better at it. So. Yes, sir. It, it's 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 just the the consistency in catching the voice. Yeah. Before it's like an hour or two hours, and you're still thinking about some fucking bullshit. That happened to you in the morning or some text you got you know right it's i think it's just, that if i can speak on that i think that's uh that comes from you working on yourself like you were you were saying before you know you spend about seven hours a day just working on yourself that's that's what allows you to be able to see that because i think you know to sum up what you were saying in a sense i think uh, the best way to put it was just you know the king is the one that sees the 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 dueling happening you know but the king is still holding this position out at his throne uh the, is that accurate yeah, for sure. The king is watching the duel. It's like I'm watching a duel in a man. What are those things called? Like, where like gladiators would fight? You know, those big circles. Like, oh like yeah, a big, yeah. Uh, arena. Uh, great question. I don't know what that's called. Yeah, whatever that. <laughs> but people know what I'm talking about. It's like Gladiator a bigger arena, and then they got yeah. like the stairs. The stairs right, are right. like cobblestone. The Colosseum. And then, like yeah, the king's yeah. like at the top, and like a like a huge like yeah. bed, right? And they're exactly. feeding grapes. Yeah, exactly. And he's watching. He's watching this duel. Mm. And this specific duel just never ends, you know, just, it's just one of those wow. duels, it just never ends, it just never ends. And like, he's like, fucking kill this guy, man, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? So, wow. that, it, it's, it's literally like that. Like, uh, I was, I was like, I was experiencing it and I was like, dude, this is literally like two people just fighting back and forth. Yeah. And it's a never ending duel and it's, ne it's never going to end. It's never going to end. Mm. But I know what I have to do to not pay attention to it, to not let it affect yeah. what I'm doing right now. Mm. For example, like doing this podcast, you know, I could just, it, I could, it could just be right now, like, bro, you don't know what to say. You like, you, sh you should get, you should just make an excuse and get off of the podcast because <laughs> you're kind of nervous or something like that, you know, like yeah. some stupid thing like that. Like people would right, right. have that noise in their head, you know, yeah. or like, you know, Pyro is taking 
Pyro's a photographer, videographer. Shout out to fucking Pyro. Yeah. And, yes, and uh, hey, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm on a call. And, you know, you're taking like photos, for example, like Pyro is. Yeah. Oh man, do you think I can, think I'm really gonna be able to take these photos, bro? Like, I don't know, like, uh, Am I, am I that good? Am I that good to take photos? No, man. What the hell? Pyro's not gonna say some shit like that. Right, right. That's like that's like the bitch inside is gonna say something like that. And even if it does, it's we're not gonna acknowledge that. Mm. We're not gonna acknowledge that, boys. Yeah. So, nice. man, we talk about this shit all day. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, okay. no, that's dope, man. Dope. Let me uh let me move on to the next question, brother. Where where are you born in? I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, nobody believes me when I say it. Like, Are you lying? You fucking liars. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was, what was that like, man? Well, I I was born there, and I I, I was born there, and then my, my parents moved to California when I was probably one or so. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Right, so I didn't I didn't grow up there. I grew up here yeah. in the Bay Area. Gotcha. Wow. But my parents are from um, from Kabul, uh, Afghanistan. So mm. They're born there. They're both born there, and then wow. they came here. Yeah. Yeah. How does that? How does that heritage? How does that play into you know who you are? How you see yourself now? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so, it, man, in, like in the past probably five or six years, mm -hmm. I really didn't acknowledge the heritage. As in, mm. I didn't care for it. You know. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't really care for it and I didn't really study it. And even now I haven't studied enough of it. So that's, that's one of the things that I'm working on right now. Yeah. But my, my father has told me a lot of stories about my grandfather hmm. and man, the fucking stories are just unreal. Unfucking real. Like you wouldn't believe this shit. Like the shit that he's told me, it's just ridiculous. Like you could write a book about it. And when I hear it, I'm like, damn, like I, this shit, it's like so intense that I can't even fucking complain about the shit that I'm dealing with right now. Yeah. You know? All right, start, start the recording again. Uh, in that manner, you know, when, they're, when you're connecting with somebody on a telepathic level, you know, there, there's a lot of communication that happens that you're not even necessarily aware of, but just being around each other allows you to, to grow in your, your perspective with each other and how, do, how you relate to that person. So it's very, very powerful, man, to, to, to be in communication with, not only just Soul Time, but all of IMC Nation and, you know, anybody that I've connected with on a soul and spiritual level. Um, a part of the self-code is, is getting to know how you relate to other people. And I think that's vitally important for you to know that you getting to know somebody else is going to just teach you more about you. You know, I learn about myself so much more when I'm in communication with somebody else on the other side of the screen. So as I'm learning myself on a daily basis i spend you know a lot of amount of time working on myself every single day as well just like sultan said and me doing that i see the value in relating to other people so you know on a consistent basis is what i practice man i was just so my next question man is uh if this is your stage for the world and it, and it is right now um uh, what what is your message to the world how would you deliver that message or what would that message be because you are, you are, let me, let me give you that uh, proper uh, delivery and precursor because you're a messenger under AZD and that's, that means a lot because AZD is a deliverer of messages and um, not only that, but I believe that, you know, probably based on your past life as well, you have the ability to communicate that message. Um, so what is that message, brother? Really, really good questions. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will say this first, my, not my, recently I've, I've held in a lot of, a lot of communication from, from the world. And, uh, the reason for that is of course, a lot of insecurities, right? Uh, people don't want to make videos, you know, who the fuck wants to make, I mean, people want to make videos, but who really is going to get on camera and talk, right? Um, so I've, I haven't, I haven't made enough content or put enough communication out into the world. If that makes sense. Yeah. I will say this, if, if there are, 
I'm just I'm just trying to think of this how let's see. Take your time, brother. No worries. Whoever to whoever's listening, man, there's there's so much to say. Let's see. Well, the first thing, man, is it, a lot of people. I would say, like you know, even like 99 percent of the population right now is such an important time. Mm-hmm. People really need to research what's going on. Yeah. And I'm not saying that lightly. I mean, people are just like, bro, you're like a conspiracy theorist or what? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the car the other day and I, I just started like bursting into tears for like 45 minutes as I was driving back wow. from uh, my place, my old place to here. Wow. And it was because it was a lot of things that I'm not going to go into detail, but it had to mainly do with child trafficking. Mm. Cause I saw, I saw a lot of stuff yeah. and man, I started bursting into tears and I, I yeah. couldn't, I couldn't stop. I, I was like, I need to stop this shit. Cause you know, I was, I was going to meet with somebody. I don't want to like yeah. walk up and I'm like in tears, you know? <laughs> so I was like, I was kind of laughing too. I was like, I need to stop. Yeah. But it just kept coming and coming. Mm. And right now that's like something that's really, that's really been on my mind. You know, it's really just like ignited something inside of me yeah. because I don't know how somebody could really look at that they can see that it's happening mm. there's that's obvious if, right. if you don't see it then i don't know maybe you're just i don't know man i don't know i don't know what to say to that person that's, you know? just, that's just ignorance at that point yeah it's, i think it's even worse it's i think even yeah. worse than ignorance i think that person probably even supports it mm. or they're just like so like they're just so in their head that they can't even comprehend that what the hell right. that is 100%. like yeah it's a it's a, a child yeah being trafficked Yes, sir. No, a child, a child being raped and molested. Let's yeah. use those words so people can actually listen. Well, traffic, what is that? Like, they're just they're moving around. These people are so stupid. Kids are literally being taken advantage of. Yeah. And then you have people that are just like, bro, that's a conspiracy. You're, you're a conspiracy theorist. So that's just that people need to really wake the fuck up and research this shit. Yeah. And so many people say it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying it. I'm, I'm going yeah. to start saying this a lot more. Cause it's not fucking right, man. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. I'm a good person. You're a good person. We know we're, we're all good people here. So we know about this shit and we, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to not talk about it. You know, a lot of people see it. Like they'll see something I post and they, you know what they'll do? They'll send me a private message. Mm. They'll send me a private message saying, bro, like I'm with you. No, you're not <laughs> right. You're not with me, bro. You're not even Hello. sharing this stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm still with you, bro. No, you're not, because you're not spreading awareness to it. You have how many followers? A thousand, right. two thousand, and and I have like five, six hundred. I'm I'm still posting. I don't care. They can yeah. all follow me tomorrow, bro. If they all right. follow me, I know who's I know who's a pedophile. I know who supports pedophilia. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I know who supports pedophilia. No, bro, I don't rape kids. I didn't say you rape kids. I said you support yeah. it. Right. You support that. Yeah. Because if I you don't, don't stand that. against it, then then that's what that's what it is. And you're standing you're standing for it. You know, the, you cannot be on one side or, or you cannot be in the middle. There is no neutral. There is, you either are speaking out against it or you're not, like point, point blank period. So I, I feel exactly what you're saying, brother. And that, you saying that right there ignites a whole nother fucking fire in me because I, I've heard things that I, I feel like people should never have to hear, but it's real. You know what I'm saying? And, and just hearing it, you know what I'm saying, ignites some shit in me. Uh, experiencing it is, is a whole nother frequency. You get what I'm saying? And that's, yeah. bro. Man, I can, yeah, I don't even want to <laughs> go into that. But it's, it's important, man. It's, it's huge, you know what I'm saying, to to be able to discuss it and, and to bring it up. So that's a very powerful message, man. Sure, man. And, I, you know, another thing, I was at um, was at a grocery store the other day, and I walk up, and I thought it was this guy trying to recall Gavin Newsom with one of those stands. So I walk yeah. up, and I was like, hey, is this a recall Gavin Newsom? I'll sign right now, bro. Right, like, right, I was right. like, can I sign twice? I already signed it, like, yeah. a week ago. And he's like, no, it's for, like, children and schools and donating to schools i was like bro what the fuck? like donate to schools fuck yeah you know i told him i said i said did you know that there's eight hundred thousand children that go missing each year and that's just in the united states what a, what a, i'm not donating to that bro sorry I, i'm not gonna donate what like what am i donating to I'm donating right. for kids to go to school like yeah i'm not saying kids shouldn't go to school but that's not something that uh, that's that's that, to me i don't that's i don't i don't see my money my money shouldn't go there yeah right no i don't know and he's like, oh, I didn't even know and this and that. So yeah, man, research it, bro. Research it. It's a real thing. It's a real yeah. thing. It's it, 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 it. People see it, and I just can't. Fa- I just can't figure this out. I've, I've been thinking about this. How can somebody see it? 
and then just 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 like ignore it almost or they're afraid to say something about it because they think they're going to be judged like who's going to judge you for, for for standing up against for children i have two little brothers bro. I have two little brothers mm. and when i see them it makes me like i i think of that i think of i'm like man like there, there's people that have little brothers and they have kids and they don't give a shit they don't give a shit they don't care about this stuff they're just like yeah, it's not it's, it's not, not gonna happen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're like oh it's not gonna happen to me yeah you know I, when I was going to the park every day to work out before I moved here, mm-hmm. there's so many times I saw, I didn't know if I should do it or not. And I didn't, I didn't do it because I didn't want to, I didn't want to get into co- conflict, but there's so many times where I would see parents. Yeah. Well, first off, this park is huge. Like, like it was probably like maybe, maybe like five, six miles. Right. Mm-hmm. The big park, a lot of grass, you know, they had like a trail, they had like a little concrete trail around it where you could run or like skate or bike. And there's okay. kids that would ride their bikes, young kids, you know, maybe yeah. two, three, four years old, you know, young, they're really young. Wow. And they're riding like scooters and stuff um, around, around this uh, track. And I see their parents super far away, just letting them do it alone. And I'm like, you guys are crazy, man. You guys are right. insane. Like I'm seeing the kid. I'm just feeling so bad for the kid, you know, because yeah. what if some crazy, like, what if, what if I, like, I'm sitting there and I'm just like some psycho and I just grabbed the kid. I could easily have done it. Yeah. If I was crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm a skinny guy, right? I mean, I'm not that big, but it's easy. It, it's it's so it could happen so quick because that parent is so far away yeah. that by the time someone approaches the child, they're gone, bro. They're gone. Yeah. They're gone. Absolutely. People think that it's a joke, and they're like, oh, "It's not gonna happen to me." It's good. It, it can happen. I don't wish it to happen on anyone, right. but it happens. It happens. Why the numbers are eight hundred thousand? It happens, yeah. obviously. So yeah. parents need to become more aware of this, and I'm sure parents are gonna like watch this, like. You don't have kids. Don't you can't fucking tell me what to do. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Right. I have a little. I have little brothers. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. 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 Just, You're just the problem. Contact, being in contact with children at all, it wakes you up to that. You know. And once you become aware of it, then it's kind of like, you 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 start seeing it everywhere. You see the you see the error in, in how parents are handling their kids. You see the error in oh, how yeah. kids are are not aware of who's in contact with them and whatnot. And you know, there's all these red flags that go up. You know, immediately. That's yeah, that's huge, man. No, um, <clears throat> very. That's a very powerful message, man. I'm gonna continue asking the questions, man, just so we oh, can yeah. continue pushing forward, man. But uh, how do you describe the evolution of yourself so far, man? I know it's been it's been a year since you came into contact with IMC Nation, right? How do you describe the transformation from a year ago until this moment right here, right now? <laughs> it's like night and day difference. I, I would pull up picture up but I'm, I'm on facetime or on, uh, on instagram live i have like a photo of me from from back then yeah and then a photo of me now and it's like it, just a photo is just is unbelievable yeah 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 as I far think- as the actual evolution goes man, i honestly haven't thought about that i haven't thought about it it's, you're asking some really good questions it's making me think here i haven't thought about it in that sense of the change you know like sometimes i'll, I'll see myself and i'll i'll be like dude, you haven't even changed. And then I'm like, no way, dude, no way. I've changed yeah. so much. I've changed so much for the, for the better. Oh, yeah. And everyone says, bro, you've changed. And it's like, yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, I did change. Now it's your turn to change. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, who, who really wants to be the same person for years and years and years? Nobody wants, to, you have to change. Right. And some people will change for, for the worst. You know, I changed yeah. for the better. I'm a better person than I was four or five years ago. I wasn't a bad person. You know, I wouldn't, I'm not, you know, I wasn't a criminal or a thief right. ever, but a, a better person as far as I, I can, I can express myself more. And when I do that, I can make other people feel better. You know, mm-hmm. people that need that people, people that need me or need some sort of guidance or need some sort of uh, love. I can, I can, I can provide that, you know, you know, maybe five, six years ago, I was su- a super cold person and not because um, I didn't like people. I wasn't it. It was just, Growing up, um, I mean, I was bullied. You know, I was bullied. Every, like most people were fucking bullied. I was bullied as well, and that shit, that shit really affects your mind, especially at such a young age. When I was, I think, in sixth grade, in middle school, at my first year, yeah. it was sixth grade middle school. I don't even fucking remember. I don't remember this shit. Is sixth grade middle school? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe so. Okay, <laughs> okay, I think yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 six, it is. six, eight. Right? Yeah, 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 I can't even remember this shit, man. It's like yeah. I'm like I feel old. Um, <laughs> so when I was in sixth grade, I had this dude that always fucked with me. I forgot his name. We, there's a couple people. There's a couple people, man. There's a couple. People. One guy's name was Ruben, man. I remember that motherfucker. He would always yeah. 
fuck with me always, you know, and there's a lot of things he would fuck with me for. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into, but he would fuck yeah. with me, you know? And one time I, uh, I would, I skate, I skateboarded a lot. Right. So I had this, uh, I had this, uh, audio, like Bam Margera's fucking like signature skateboard. Yeah. I, I love like people of Bam and like jackass and shit, like those shows. Right. So I had this board yeah. and I remember one time this guy fucking comes up to me. I was like, no, nah, man, don't fucking do it today, man. Don't fuck with me today. Don't fuck with, don't fuck with the king today, bro. You're going to right. get handled. And he came up right. to me and he said something. I grabbed the board. And you know how there's like the, the metal trucks? Yeah, 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 yeah. I grabbed it and I smacked him in the kneecap as hard as I could. Jeez. And I don't know what happened to him, bro. I don't know, what happened. I don't know if I broke his kneecap like a yeah. mobster or something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. he fell on the ground and started crying. Wow. And I immediately left, like, as quick as I could. Like, it was, there was not many people, yeah. so I don't think too many people saw it. And I just, yeah. I just left as quick as I could. And um, hey, nothing happened. Nothing happened to me. Like, nobody said anything to me. Yeah. And from that day forward, that guy never, never said anything to me again. Like, he would see me, and he would just walk another way. Yeah. And that's really what it takes. That's really what it took to just get rid of these, uh, these pieces of shit. Yeah. And uh, what, what was the question? My evolution, right? My evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> it's all good. My evolution is... <clears throat> It's powerful, man. It's powerful. In the past, I would, I'm going to be straight up with you. I mean, I'm always straight up, but I would, I would avoid going anywhere. Mm. And uh, what I mean, anywhere, like I would avoid going to the store. I mean, I would have to sometimes to get food and yeah. things like that, but I would avoid any social contact with anybody because I was like too, I was too, I was afraid to fucking talk to people. I had like a social anxiety, you know, that fucking oh, wow. bullshit term, that made up term. Yeah. So, and that was like two and a half years ago, man. That was like two and a half years ago. And it mainly, the, the reason that I was like that is from, from school, of course. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to high school, I ended up going to continuation because of like some gang related stuff. I wasn't in a gang, but I, there came a point where I had to defend myself against a gang. Of course. And I, I bought a knife and everything, and I was like, all right, I'm going to have to do this. Like, this, yeah. is, this is it. This is it. I don't, I'm not going to – I don't want to get killed, but I, right. I'm not – you know, it was, it, it, was such a, it was such a crazy moment, but it ended up not happening, you know, for, for the best because I probably wouldn't be yeah. here. Yeah. And, I mean, some of those guys probably wouldn't be here either. They're probably yeah. not here anymore, honestly, with that That's lifestyle crazy. choice. But yeah. that caused, like, so much shock in my system because mm. you have to imagine, like, you're, you're – you're, first year in like high school and you're about to get like shanked and you're about to get like jumped by like a bunch of gang members bro like yeah. i can't explain the feeling man like i remember i was i was like drinking some water yeah and when i got this message because it was all messages you know back and forth messaging on like myspace or something that was myspace days and i, I opened this message i'm like dude i don't want to open this man i don't want to open this yeah. message it's not gonna be good <laughs> open the message and like my heart just drops just drops i, I remember i literally couldn't stand Wow. I like I got on my knees and I was like heaving and I had my hand like on this uh on like a window seal and I was like trying to pick myself up and I couldn't even stand my like wow. I was having like a panic attack or something I don't know what it yeah. was yeah. and I was alone so nobody got to see this embarrassing moment wow. but, but I was like just panicking like I was like dude what am I what am I gonna do man I don't want to tell anybody about this like yeah. you know all my friends in school were total pussies like they wouldn't have done anything they're not gonna back me up I don't talk to any of those faggots anyway anymore right, so. Right. Nobody was going to back me up. And just seeing the evolution from then of just how, I, how my, beha my behavior, my language, my mannerisms, my body language, how I look, I mean, everything has changed in such a drastic way that if I literally even just put a photo of me now and a photo of me like two years ago, even a year and a half ago next yeah. to each other, which I'm going to do eventually, you, you're not going to even – you're going to be like, that's a completely different person. Well, completely different person. It, it's just a face. If we take all yeah. this, because I, I used to have long hair. I used to have really long hair. Oh, wow. And uh, if we just cut all that, if, or if we just crop all that in just my face, I look completely yeah. different. Yeah. And not as in I grew, not as in I aged, because of course I age. You know, I'm, I'm 20. Right. I don't even know how old I am anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 24. I'm 24. Right. I just turned 24. Yeah. Yeah. And if we take a photo of me when I'm 22, I look completely different, man. It's ridiculous. It's, wow. it's, it's mind blowing. It's so mind blowing to see it. Yeah. And there's, there's probably a lot of stuff that I don't even see. You know, a lot of people tell me like, oh, you used to be like that, man. You, you're not like that anymore. Like you, you're mm -hmm. like you, people that, people that observe the change, because to me, a lot of people observe how I've changed more than I've, I've, I've observed it because they, yeah. 
you know, they haven't seen me maybe like in a year or two or, and they can notice the change in everything, just how I speak. You know, in the past, I'll speak super fast. Like, hey, yeah, I'll, okay, yeah, I'll speak super fast. You know, I speak super yeah, yeah, yeah. fast, and I, I want to get like my, my words out quick, quick, quick. Right. So nobody would reject me. You know, I want to mm. just talk really fast. Wow. So, so you have such an awareness, brother, of of, of you know who you used to be in comparison to who you are now. That's uh, I think that's a, a major part of the transformation is being able to see that. Um, yeah. The thing that I can I can attest to just over what what month are we in we're in september so over four months over literally over four months or what i came how long ago was the last boot camp what two weeks three weeks four weeks i don't know <laughs> however, it was. however long it was um was at least three months yeah just seeing the transformation over three months man i mean from when i first met you to to, to now bro you, you're a whole nother personality archetype you know you're a warrior monk it's just it's just your you transition, it's like you, you stepped into a new dimension, you know what I'm saying? And that's the dope part to see. And, and that, like I said, that was only you know, three months uh, that I've seen. So, man, I can imagine what you what you were like in the past based off of what the words that you're describing. But, uh, man, to see the, the transformation just over the last three months, man, I, I, that's, that's the major reason why I wanted to have you on the podcast because I wanted to find out how you went through this process, you know what I'm saying? How you, how you got to where you're at, you know what I'm saying? 100%. That's a, that's huge, man. When's your when's your birthday, brother? Uh, it's uh, June June sixteenth. June sixteenth. Okay. Okay. So you're a uh, Gemini, right? Yeah, I'm Gemini. Oh. Shit, I shouldn't have said that. There's probably a bunch of girls gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna be Gemini now." <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Hey, you're right. <laughs> I was I was lying, bro. It's actually in October. Oh my bad. Okay, okay. <laughs> October. Too. Um. Well, shit. Let me end this Instagram because usually what I do, bro, is I'll, I'll um at some point during the show. I transition to, you know, I do the, uh, there's an app called Astro Future. And this app is basically gives you like an indication of your birth chart. Have you ever oh. done anything about a birth chart or you know about that? Never. It's dope, man. So let me, uh, anybody that's on Instagram, go ahead and transfer over to the link in my, in the self code bio, um, you can join the live broadcast. Salute. So let me just share this real quick, man. And I'm going to get your info. Um, and go over that with you because it's I think it's a it's a huge part, bro, of understanding um yourself, you know what I'm saying, understanding a, a different um different piece to you, you know what I'm saying? And, and it it's uh it gives you like your own blueprint basically of of yourself. And so I think it's is vitally important. I just I just it's something that I like to do. You can take it and, and run with it if you like. Yeah. I shared it with everybody else and everybody else has had like a, a realization of some sort of themselves. So let me uh oh, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Cool. So you said June sixteenth. Do you know what time you were born at, bro? I don't. I don't remember. It was. I think it was like near midnight. Okay. Cool. Okay. But I. I don't know if that makes like a big difference. Yeah, it kind of does, but it's all yeah. good. Whenever you get the, the opportunity, because uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll send this to you. What year were you born? 96. 96? Cool. And you said Atlanta, Georgia? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So I, I'm just going to read like a brief part of the transcription. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll send it to you. But you can, uh, the same, right? Hold on. I'm going to end my Instagram too, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Mr. Jordan Zamari. I appreciate you, brother, for having me on. I'll uh, oh, yeah. put his Instagram, all his information below. You guys can check him out, follow him. He's a fucking legend. Appreciate Mr. that, man. Mr. Alchemist himself. <laughs> All right, let me see. God damn, bro. <laughs> God damn. So this shit is all Gemini right here. Gemini is so cool, bro, because uh, let me, well, I'll read the exact transcription as to what Gemini is. But Gemini is part of, is part of me as well when I came to understand a different part of myself. Uh, let me see here. So it says, Gemini, witty, communicative, always on the go, takes pleasure in learning, always has 20 questions. <laughs> Rarely likes to stop, can easily get bored. So 
uh, like I said, the, the, the cool part about Gemini is, is the communication. The, the parts that stick out to me is the communication aspect and the intelligence aspect, the intellect. So it's, uh, it's so dope, man, because, you know, the, the deeper that you come to understand it, you see how, like, it's just, it plays a factor in, in how you operate in the world. So a part of me understanding myself on a deeper level is just understanding my birth chart. And so I understood like, okay, my moon sign, my moon sign is like what you attract. So the sun sign is like the sign that everybody knows about. The moon sign is the energy that you're attracting around you. And then there's uh, the Mercury. So the Mercury is how you communicate with the world. Mercury is ruled by Gemini, you know, or Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So um, let me read this one part and then I'll send this to you. It says, Sultan is a very forceful speaker and it communicates with great enthusiasm. Words just flow out and are always followed by an emotional impact that brings them home to his listeners. That's fucking true, man. <laughs> I mean, based off of just this, this uh, podcast right now. It says, Sultan has no trouble putting his feelings into words. In fact, he may have to exercise some control over his tongue, for he, has to, he, for he is quick to say things and everything he communicates packs a wallop. Things he says mean a lot. Sultan has a great mental drive and lavishes great energy on mental pursuits of all kinds. Ideas, words, books, and the like are pursued with great gusto. Gusto, gusto, whatever that means. Um, damn, bro. So, I mean, even, even fucking related to, you know, we talk about social dynamics as well. Um, it, it's fucking powerful, bro, just understanding the different aspects of, of like I said, of yourself. And then you can relate them to, to other, you know, other people, other women. And you can be like, hey, do you know anything about yourself? You know, you know, how, how your chart works and shit like that. And it's, uh, it's dope, man. Um, what do you think? What do you think about that, that paragraph right there? That's, uh, <laughs> that's like, that's so accurate. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. It's fucking, it's wild. That's so accurate, man. Especially the part about like holding, holding, uh, was it holding your tongue? Is that what it was? Yeah. Is that yeah, the words? Yeah, holding yeah, your tongue? Yeah, man. There's times yeah. where I'm just like, I'm about to go off, bro. I'm about to go <laughs> off right now. Like, I have to stop. I can't have, I have to stop myself. 100%. I have to stop myself. And that's, that's another thing. You know, I was too nice. I used to be really nice. Mm. And I would, ha I would hold back. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a dick uh, now, but there's a time to really step up and, and speak. Yeah. When, when you see something going when something's wrong, something's happening yeah. uh, in front yeah. of you, somebody's getting bullied. Right. Um, I can't stand that shit, man. I can't stand that shit. I can't stand seeing somebody get like hurt or like, you know, abused emotionally or, you know, yeah. with, 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 by words and just sit around and just sit there and just, just watch it and record it. Like all these fucking faggots do world star, world star. <laughs> fuck you, right. you stupid fucking piece of shit. Straight up. Man. So, Man, that's, that's, that's spot on, bro. That's spot on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dope. Yeah, man. I, I definitely encourage you to just dive in. I just sent it to you, so I don't know if you got it or not, but um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I encourage you to just look into that, man. And, you. and you know, it might make, there's certain parts of it. And when I was first reading it, I was kind of like, man, I don't know about this shit. It might be bullshit. Yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, but the more that I've evolved, I've just been stepping into different levels of myself. And then every time that I get a chance to, I, I reflect back on that you know, that, that chart for me. And then I'll see like the levels of, of, uh, growth and the levels of, of understanding different parts of that chart and things that it's saying mm -hmm. and shit like that about me. Yeah. And it, it's really just doing it. You got to do your own research as well. I mean, you can't rely on just these words itself. Of course. You don't know, you know, how this algorithm or anything was put together, but, um, that's what I've done. I've done the research in, in that respect and I've understand, okay, these are my aspects and shit like that. Okay. What does this mean? How does this mean? And this, that, you know, and I put all those puzzle pieces together and I know that, okay, this is a certain aspect of me. So, man, I encourage you to, to dive into that uh, whenever you get that chance. So sure. it's, it's, it's definitely going to, it's going to, yeah, man, thank you. I'm going to look at, I got it. It's a PDF, right? Yeah. 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 yeah sir. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> good Apple pay. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. With the chart on there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Hell yeah, man. It's dope. Glad I got that to you. It's like my, my gift that I give to everybody. <laughs> Um, I got, That's dope. let's just do, I got one more question. Well, two more questions. I got two more questions and then yeah. we'll be, we'll, we'll sign off, man. So For sure. how has living with AZD changed the perception of yourself, man? Like tell me step by step exactly how it is that you, your perception has changed of yourself because that's, that's truly everything that's changed. Yeah, man, it's, 
I, it's really difficult to put into words, man. I've, I've, I don't think AZD can really put it into words. Yeah. Uh, this process is just, okay. Well, let's see. I'm just going to talk directly from, from my heart. Let's see. When, when I see, when I see him just doing his thing, yeah. you know, whether it's working out or if it's talking, making a phone call or just whatever he's doing, or he, even when he speaks, because he, he, uh, he speaks a lot here just random times he's speaking right now um, in the other room yeah and when I when I hear him speak everything else that like everything else like all of the noise is just gone it vanishes I just don't I don't I don't even like I'll like I'll be thinking about like fuck like I have to pay for this or blah. like I just got a, I just got a ticket for speeding fuck I have to pay for like a speeding ticket it's like this yeah, much yeah, money yeah. And, and he starts talking and just like boom it's just gone and then yeah, later yeah. I was like oh I had a speeding ticket oh, I'll just fucking pay that shit later like right, you see right. like all these like bullshit scenarios that you're like playing out and you're just like you're like walking around and you don't you're not even experiencing this like i'm not even experiencing that fucking you know calendar i'm not, I'm not even seeing any of this shit because i'm walking around so much up here right i'm just like just walking around like this almost you know so when i when i hear him speak or i hear him or i, I see him do something and i yeah. see that he's like so present it just like snaps me out of whatever the fuck whatever like whatever was like lingering there is gone it just disappears you know wow. and more and more it's it's less like it's less like today it was very little dialogue in the head or very little um, very little moments where i was not present mm. and you know there's gonna be days where it's more there's gonna be less right and it's just uh putting the awareness on it mm. so that's one thing that it's just it's been it's just been like completely completely changed me and that's just like just watching him live, you know. Yeah. Seeing how present he is in the moment, it's 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 it's, it's difficult to explain, man. I'm not even explaining it correctly. I know there's so much more. Um, let's see what else. I mean, the way he handles situations, like situations, not like oh, I have to, you know, I have to go go call Susie or someone, someone. I have to go make a phone call, like like real shit. Like you have to handle some real shit, and. <laughs> the way he handles situations it's like nothing it's like nothing mm. nothing it's nothing to him it's like oh yeah. you know obviously there's a there there is it's not just like he's making mindless decisions yeah. i'm not saying that I'm, I'm saying that when he makes when he when he has to take care of something mm. he focuses on that and then he just gets it done he handles the yeah. situation yeah. you know he resolves the situation there's no there's no like complaining there's no bitching there's no whining oh i don't want to do this oh why is this person saying this Fuck, i don't want to you know, it all comes back to this fucking thing in your head, just just chatter. It's bullshit mm -hmm. fucking chatter, man. Hell yeah. Fuck that. Fuck. You told me the other day, because I was like, just, I was dealing with like some demons, man. I was dealing with some fucking demons. And mm. I separated myself from a few of the guys or everybody in the house. You know, I just stayed in here for um, for most of the day. You know, I still got my workout and everything done, but I, I distanced because I, I, I have respect for everybody else here and I don't want my dark like energy almost to like mix mingle with theirs you know i don't want to do that because i don't i'm just not who i am you know i'm not a dickhead so um i i quarantined myself even further you know in this room yeah, yeah for sure and uh he knew it of course you know he's you know he he he, he can see it from a mile away mm -hmm. and i remember i uh, i wanted to apologize to him apologize to everybody and he told me, he said, because uh, I was reading, I was reading, I had the book, um, what was the book called? Uh, by Michael Singer. Shit. Um, I can't remember the name. It's like a blue cover. It talks about that chat, the noise in your head. Hmm. I forgot the name. But by Michael, Michael A. Singer. Anyway, I was reading the book and he's like, you know, if you really want to understand that book, you just have to know three words. If you know these three words, you don't even have to read the book. Well, you can still read it if you want and just understand the language, you know, yeah. of the book. But to really understand the book, you just know three words. Three words is fuck your mind. Wow. There's the only three words you have to know and you know the book. Because nice. that's all Hell the book yeah. is, you know, it's like two, three hundred pages of fuck your mind. Yeah. <clears throat> and when he said that to me, like, it was like in the moment where I was just feeling like shit. And it, 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 it did something. It, it really, because it's like three simple words. But when you really think about it, that's all it is, fuck your mind. You know, you can't, mm. you can't let this shit waste fucking eight hours of your fucking day you know sitting in a fucking room sad about who fucking even knows bro i forgot what the fuck i was even like i forgot what the fuck i was even like tripping about yeah. dude you know yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. it's so funny it's so funny, yeah, yeah. It's so funny. Wow. that's huge bro that's that's big time 
Man, my last question, brother, my last question. That was that was huge, everything that you just said right now. That's, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to having more experiences like that. I mean, uh, you know, I, I get, got the chance to visit Base One already, and man, this place is magical, but I know it's, it's grown so much already, you know what I'm saying, in comparison yeah. to when I was there. I can tell just by certain elements being there, certain people living there, and uh, man, it's, that's huge. So the last question, brother, is your animal totem, man. It, I love it. I, I fucking love it. It's it's the cheetah. I know it's just one of them, but the the cheetah. Why why the cheetah, brother? Well, I didn't even know it was the cheetah until uh, until he brought it up, and it makes sense because my back. I don't know if you saw my back. Yeah, 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 hell yeah. <laughs> but when I do like a push up or like, like I can just do it right now, like I can just like push it out. My yeah. my shoulder blades like almost like looks like it's ripping out of my body like like yeah. wings. Yeah. And I know like the cheetahs, they have like that that look, you know, that long yeah. look, like that long, lanky look, yeah, lanky body. Oh, yeah. And then like the tan, I have like a, have, when I get a tan, I, you know, I, I have like this similar color of a cheetah. Mm. And it's just, I think it's just like how my body is, you know, just yeah. the proportion of my body looks like a fucking cheetah. So that's, that's just what it is. And, yeah. Uh, what is it? What is it? What else is it about the cheetah in particular though that, that is, that sticks out, you know, to you? It's the speed. I, I believe the cheetah is the fastest, is one of the fastest animals. Yeah. Yeah. I, I may be wrong on that. Fastest. Yeah. No, it's the, it's, it's the it fastest. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is the fastest. I have, mm. I have it on my phone. It is the fastest. And it's really, it's the speed, you know? I, cause I haven't embodied it where, I, like, if I'm like fighting, um, like, martial arts or something, I'm, I, I'll be really slow in the past. And even now I'm slow. Yeah. And what I've been doing recently is just, just envisioning. I'm imagining this this cheetah, this sand cheetah. There's a fucking dope ass picture of one. It's like running in the sand. It's like sprinting. You see hella sand just like in the air because it's like sprinting through the sand. Mm. And I imagine that. So when I get into like any conflict, that's how fast that's how fast I'm going to be. Wow. Just like boom, 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 boom. Just super, just so fast, but fluid. You know, not like yeah. all tense and shit. Just being able to fly across like a fucking field like it's nothing. You know. So that that's just that's. What I really like about it is the speed, it's the wow. fucking speed, and then the look, just the body of it. It's just like, yeah, you know, like when I walk around sometimes, I'm like, damn, everybody's everybody's looking at a fucking cheetah walking around right now. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking cheetah's walking around. That's like, has anyone ever, has anyone here seen like a cheetah <laughs> just walk around like this on two fucking legs, man? Right. That's dope, man. Hell yeah, man, brother. This is by far my favorite episode thus far. I mean, everybody's had their, you know, their own parts that they you know kind of brought out to me but man you brought me yeah. to another level man so i salute you for that hell yeah thanks for having me man i, I appreciate course, you bro. Man. i appreciate absolutely. you brother. Well, absolutely man i appreciate you being on taking the time out of your day i know you're very busy over there in base one um one last thing i want to i want to address to you brother is of course the assassin in me these are the words that came to me the assassin in me uh, salutes the assassin in you man that's my favorite aspect of, of the whole archetype that, that you embody, man, that's, that's, it's huge. Um, I, I, one video game <laughs> that I love playing was Assassin's Creed and, and for whatever it is, bro, that, that shit just connects to my soul, man. And Such a good game. Hell yeah. <laughs> wow. But bro, it's, it's, it's even doper because we're, we're, we're living it out, you know, we're, yeah. we're taking steps to fucking become that, you know what I'm saying? And, exactly. Bro, there, there's nothing like that. And that's, I mean, what else would we want out of life? To be, be to become the video game characters that we, you know, that we were playing at one point in time. I mean, I see a Ross, I see a God of War. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I, I, I see you, I see the Assassin's Creed. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. So oh, yeah. appreciate Hell you being yeah. on. Yeah, brother. We'll do it again, too. I, I want to come back on, man. I, I, 100%. I fuck with your vibe heavy, bro. I, like I said, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you here. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hell coming yeah, next, next weekend, brother. Next oh, weekend. Yeah. I'll be there. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, brother. Absolutely. Salute. Anybody you. else? Awesome. Uh, thank you for everybody else tuning in. Um, anybody that did tune in, enjoyed this. Oh, last thing, brother. Can you leave them your, your Instagram handle? Sure. <laughs> um, follow up with you. I think everyone has me on here, but I'll still type it in. And uh, if uh, if anyone was, if anyone's listening to it, it's just uh, it's S-U-L-T-A-N Sultan. You can just type in Sultan. I think it comes up. But Sultan, uh, P-A-R-V-A-N-T-A. -A. 